Kowalski, we're live. Hello, hello, and welcome to Be My Guest. I'm Adair Palmer, and this is the place where we gather to meet new and interesting people, find out how we can do things just a little bit differently and be a bit more creative to offer a different perspective on life. Our special guest today is C. Glasson, and she's the manager of a small business called Garden Gypsy and the newly appointed director of Anoish Wellness. Now, uh, C says that this year COVID has kicked most of us in the guts, and indeed it has. What she's done is she's turned her focus to health and well-being and sustainability within childcare centres. So what she's done is she has absolutely, she's got this new product to add to her already impressive suite of products. And I'm going to actually bring her up and join us right now so she can tell, I don't want to steal any of her thunder, <laughs> but she could tell us herself. So C, hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Now, you don't mind me calling you C and say, oh, cause that's how I know you. No, that's okay. That's my nickname. So that's that's completely fine. Okay, beautiful. So, so C, tell me how you, I've, I've spoken to you, it was probably a couple of years ago now on mytimetv.live when we talked about your, your new products that you had coming out for uh, skincare from Garden Gypsy and you've expanded from that. Yeah, yeah. So um, Garden Gypsy is now a, a brand because Garden Gypsy is a trademark. So Garden Gypsy is now beneath, uh, beneath a niche wellness. So you almost got it right. <laughs> um, yeah, so a niche wellness is uh, the new company, which is great. And then we've got our Garden Gypsy range and we have our Boho Baby range too. Beautiful. So we're going to talk about those in just a minute. I just ask you, if you're joining us live, we would love to see you letting as many people know as possible because what C is going to share with us is pretty impressive. And I'm actually, as a grandmother to babies, I'm really impressed with what, you, what you're coming up with. And so what I'd like your help to do is if you're watching this live or even for the replay, there's a little arrow that goes that way. Can you just tap on that and make sure that your friends and family and loved ones, they're not all mutually exclusive. I'm sure your friends and family and loved ones are all the same people, but make sure yeah. that they see this, uh, this information and, and together we can help get the word out about what's happening so the other thing I just want to say is we are also live inside of the Women in Business Amplified community. So if you are watching from in there and you want to make a comment, we may not be able to see who's making the comment. Pop over to mytimetv.live, which is where we're also broadcasting live and talk to us uh, and ask you questions because of there's some amazing stuff happening with um, that, uh, that C is doing. So... Garden Gypsy is now a brand which is, just give us a little refresher on, on exactly what Garden Gypsy is and then we'll look at the Anoish. Anish. Anish. Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone's got to bugger it up, so it's all good. <laughs> um, so Garden Gypsy, uh, we make natural skincare products with extra virgin olive oil. So the olive oil comes from the Adelaide Hills, which actually comes from my mum's plantation in the hills. Um, we make a range of remedies for different skin conditions like itching skin, eczema, dermatitis, crack split fingers, sunburn, kitchen burns. Um, you'd probably love the sunburn one in uh, Queensland, Adair. <laughs> you guys get a bit of sunshine up there, actually. Um, so we do we do a big range of, of skincare on that side. And then the Boho Baby range is a natural skincare range that is with olive oil again, um, mm -hmm. but with apricot oil as well, which is really gentle for babies. And there's nine different products in that range. Oh, wonderful. So I love the apricot oil. I think that's amazing. Tell us about the new product. A new, new one. <laughs> okay. So um, with the new product, we 
did it as a little bit of a spin-off to one of the ones in a normal range. So in our Boco Baby range, we have a um, product called Spritz and it's a nappy wipe spray. So essentially it's a bum spray. <laughs> so you wipe, basically you um, spray baby's skin during a nappy change um, and then you are you able to wipe away any mess, any soil very easily. Um, it helps to reduce the friction that a lot of um, really rough nappy wipes tend to leave on um, baby skin. Baby skin has got such delicate, very, very gentle skin. Um, when my daughter was a little baby, um, I was getting the childcare centres to use that for her because the wipes would really irritate her bum. So um, the ladies in the childcare centre kept saying, oh, this is amazing stuff. Like, it'd be great if we could have this in childcare centres. So I thought, hmm, okay. And I said, oh, how come you couldn't use this? And they basically said because you've got lavender and things like that in it and it can create possible irritations for children. So I thought, mm -hmm. hang on a sec, I can, I can uh, change this around. So I ended up developing a uh, nappy spray called aloe vera nappy spray which is specifically for childcare centres, which can be used across a whole range of uh, children. So it, um, it has very, very basic ingredients in it. It doesn't have anything that has a smell. It's basically odourless. It has uh, very simple ingredients that don't irritate the skin. Um, and if something, if a child does get irritated, obviously they have very, very super sensitive skin. I mean, you can't, yeah, you can't guarantee that no child is ever going to not have a reaction because every person is different. Um, but basically, I've developed this for childcare centres because um, childcare centres are the ones that deal with children on a regular basis. They're the ones who have to deal with the painful nappy changes during the day too. And they're the ones who have to deal with poor children screaming in pain from horrible nappy rash or having to deal yeah. with sticky or dry that is just impossible to get rid of. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I extended it out to childcare centres. Do you want me to keep going or would you like to ask a question? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I've got a million questions racing through my mind and yeah? you know what's the, the funny thing is I'm actually seeing it at each end of the life cycle, <laughs> the lifespan. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there was... So I would say the first thing I wanted to say was that for super sensitive children, you would have to like even normal washing powder would irritate them. So it's yeah. not just your product. That was that was the one thing I wanted to say. The other thing was I would I was wondering because you know I have um, I have upstairs living upstairs from me actually is a uh, I have a ten month old grandson, a two year old granddaughter, and a nearly seven year old granddaughter, but the little ones. That it's like they they the dirt just sticks on their face, so yeah. Could you use it um, also yeah. as a face wash as well as a you know <laughs> a bum wash? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Good thinking. Yeah, absolutely. You can. Yeah, basically, so, it helps to um, yeah remove any any dirt, any soiling, anything like that because it helps to lift it off the surface um, rather than just using a wipe which is, can be quite abrasive, yeah. um, it acts like that barrier in between to help reduce the reduce the friction from the wiping or the roughness from the wipe, really. Yeah, so in terms of that as well, and I know I did read a bit of a blurb about it, you're talking about the, uh, the environmental benefits of using that, which is really important for me, and I'm sure they're important for a lot of other people as well. So do you want to explain a little bit how that works? Yeah, sure, absolutely. This is probably um, my my biggest thing when it comes to this product. Um, when it comes to using wipes, wipes aren't biodegradable. A lot of people think that because it it look, it seems like it's paper based that it's biodegradable, but it's not. They can take up to a hundred years to decompose. Mm -hmm. um, I did some research, and based on the childcare centres and the number of here in South Australia that are attending childcare centres, um, approximately 1.32 billion used wipes go into landfill every year just from childcare centres wow. in Australia. That's wow. equivalent to about 6.6 .6 tonnes. That's yeah. a lot. So, yeah. 
Um, yeah, it's crazy. Um, there's actually not that many um, biodegradable wipes on the market as well. You can get them online, but there's nothing really in supermarkets. You go into the supermarket uh, and you look in the baby section, mm. and I've looked in so many different places, and I don't see any biodegradable ones on the shelf. You can get yeah. flushable wipes, but um, that's probably the closest you can get. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so when it comes to, to this, basically the product will help to reduce that figure by a third because mm -hmm. it will reduce the amount of wipes that's needed. So imagine when you've got uh, a baby that's got really yucky sticky poo or it's, you haven't got to baby in time and it's semi-dried and you've got to use like 10 wipes to get rid of it. Um, using the spray helps to loosen it off, so it helps to reduce the wipe, uh, making it more effective, more efficient, a lot mm -hmm. cleaner, and it's a lot more yeah. hygienic. Um, but you use about a third less wipe. So we mm -hmm. can reduce, if we are able to get this product into childcare centres across uh, Australia, we can reduce that 1.32 billion down to about 800 million. I know 800 million still sounds like a lot, but it's a hell of a lot less than what it was. Yeah, yeah. And so you'd still use it in conjunction with the wipes, but you would use a fraction of the wipes. Yeah. Now, would that, say, that would save you money as well? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, because mm -hmm. wipes are a lot more expensive. On mm -hmm. average, um, a childcare centre might go through about $2,500 worth of wipes a year. Um, yeah. And obviously every childcare centre is different depending on how many children they have. Um, but, yeah, that's that's based on some um, current um, calculations. And a year supply of the aloe vera nappy spray is about $180. And to do that, use that, you'll save the centre $600 a year. Yeah. So you actually cut out of like a hell of a lot of your cost in um in nappy spray and nappy wipes and everything as well. Yeah. So yeah. I think I think it's a great idea. And like I said the other but just before, at the other end of life too, you know, I think that there's a you might want to change change the label and market it to nursing homes. <laughs> I know. Do you know what? So many people have said that, and I've been thinking, yeah, I should do that. It's just that mm -hmm. um, there's a whole heap of other research I'll have to do around that area. Yeah, um, yeah. Because uh, I've done all the research for the childcare centres, but I'd have to do all the research for the um, for the aged care homes, and that will take another six months to do or so. So yeah, um, yeah. So get, yeah. get something running first, and then look at. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fine. It's perfect. Yeah. It would be great. So I've heard yeah. a, a lot of feedback from people um, in aged care facilities saying that that would be something they'd be interested in too. So that, okay. that's pretty good. Okay, so what about what about individual sales and getting onto the shelves of um, the local IGA or those types of places? Is that something that you've um, you've looked at doing as well? You know, so if we so, so I'm I'm a mom who or grandma who gets to the luxury of not changing nappies because I always make myself scarce, but <laughs> so my daughter's going to go yuck and vouch for that. <laughs> Oh, you smell. Here, go back to your kid. Go back to my daughter. But um, but, but always cuddles when they're not pooey. Uh, so so but, but so say I am um, a grandmother that actually does take my grandma duties seriously, <laughs> and and I'm looking for somewhere that like I hear about this amazing product and I go that is fantastic. I want to get some. What yeah. can I do as an individual? Is there any way, or is it just for Okay, so the aloe vera nappy spray is uh, specifically for childcare centres, but the yeah. retail version is a boho baby spritz. So oh, um, no. boho baby spritz does have lavender and calendula and chamomile in it, so mm -hmm. it has a, a little bit of a smell. So it actually makes uh, nappy changes a, a lot more nicer <laughs> because you've got a nice smell yeah. <laughs> in the process. Um, so we've got that one, but if people really are like, they have super, super sensitive children that can't even have lavender, then, um, I would, uh, get people to send me an email if they were interested mm -hmm. or they can inquire on the web website. But, okay. um, for just, just the normal sales, our, our, our retail range is Boho Baby. It can be found in a couple of Foodland stores in South Australia, but yeah. it's still one of those products that we're trying to get out there. 
Yeah. Well, I think it's different enough and it's unique enough. And, you know, so you're saving money, you're saving the environment, you're, yeah. you know, you're, it ticks all the boxes for me. Roz is also saying she does the same. <laughs> this is no, like <laughs> from, one, from one grandma to another. <laughs> Oh, I do. Yeah. So oh, happy to go to the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching my hair that moment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I think yeah, that's grandma privilege. When you're a parent, you actually yeah. don't, you know, it's like I know when, when my older, my youngest was little, his dad would go, you touched him last, you know, it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like him smell though. <laughs> so, so, but anything. Anything to make baby change time, nappy change time easier. And yeah. I really think, you know, I just sometimes I see my daughter with the, the two-year-old who's in the process of being toilet trained and when they, you know, it's like you, you try to hold them down when they've done this big sticky poo and they're trying to run out the door. It's like you want to get this done as quickly and as painlessly as yeah. possible. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it does. It makes it quicker and easier. It makes it more soothing and comfortable yeah. for the child as well, yeah. especially if they do have that really bad nappy rash. Yeah. Um, it can yeah. actually help to here's something interesting about the um the aloe vera spray is that it can uh reduce the E. coli as well because I got oh, it tested okay. for E. coli. Yeah, so um for disinfectant testing, I got it tested and it does actually reduce the count of E. coli. So okay. um, a lot of people might know that E. coli is found in stomach bugs a lot of the time. So mm -hmm. it'll make it more hygienic in that respect. Um, reduces mm -hmm. the amount of wipes needed, obviously will reduce the cost um, yeah. and obviously significantly reduces the impact on the environment because of that. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, it's better for your pocket. Um what else? I'm actually like got my little cheat sheet down here, so I'm going through everything. Ah, this is the other thing as well, actually. The Australian government has something called the um, National Waste Policy Action Plan, which mm -hmm. is uh, which is a policy and action plan that they have to try and reduce the amount of landfill, both uh, both domestically and commercially across Australia and they've got a target up to the uh, 2030 they have it until yeah. Um, yeah. and so they're wanting to try and reduce a certain amount of waste um, per household etc cetera, etc cetera. so mm -hmm. if people get on board with this one like even people in their house um, mm -hmm. let alone childcare centres they'll definitely be contributing towards that action um, national mm -hmm. waste action policy plan yeah. yeah wow so, um that's another really good one as well so i definitely have done a lot of research around this as well um it's vegan friendly as well because mm -hmm. there's no animal products or anything in it um obviously made here in south australia there's no yeah. alcohol in it so people don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to sting the baby because there's no mm -hmm. alcohol in it um we use uh antimicrobial agents in it as a preservative system so we don't use alcohol for that yeah. Um, and there's no artificial colours, no fragrances, no wheat, no dairy, no nuts. That is that. It, it sounds like it's just the, the ideal product. It really does. Yeah, it, so, it pretty much is. It's, a lot of people yeah. are having trouble believing it, actually, because it's the whole adage of um, if it's too good to be true, then it probably isn't. Um, but in this case, it's it true. Is. And you've kept yeah. it simple. I love that. Roz says this is one of what Roz does. She pops down the bedroom for a minute when they've got pooey nappies in her house. <laughs> but, she, but she's also saying it's a great idea, and I think the great idea isn't to pop down the bedroom if you're a grandma of a grandchild with a dirty nappy. The great <laughs> idea, <laughs> the great, the great idea that Roz is um, and saying it's a great idea in terms of uh, aligning it with the government objectives as well. I think, I may be right. wrong, but well, I think that was when she yeah. popped that up. And a couple, okay. of things, couple of comments I had, see, was one that when you mentioned that it, it has a um, oh, great idea to have good stuff only, yes, that too. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, it's natural, yeah. 100% natural. Yeah, and there's more and more people leaning towards that. 
it's you yeah. know if we're looking for alternatives we are looking for alternatives that are that are safe to use safe for the environment and good on the pocket and if that ticks all three boxes when you said that the e it, it reduces the um e coli the e coli e coli i just actually thought back to when when my youngest was at a daycare centre, a childcare centre, and he had to, he went when he was eight months old. Uh, so, oh wow! Um, yeah. uh, and he would come home constantly with um, the runny tummy, and uh, and and of course the 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 nose, you know, the snotty nose. But you yeah. know, it, it was it was one of those things that was always an issue. But I was thinking out loud here, if I were the parents of a young child in a childcare centre, I'd be wanting to lobby the centre to use this if it's going to help the reduce the risk of those sorts of infections transmitting. Yeah, so, yeah. So it increases the hygiene practice within the center. So it actually yeah. increases genital hygiene. You get a better clean, a yeah. much better clean, rather than just using wipes alone. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'd be I, as a parent with young children in a childcare center. That's the. There's. Is there a message for them to go back to their childcare center and say, talk to Sam? Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I've been sending out emails to centres and I'm sure they think it's spam. So yeah. I, I have been getting a lot of read receipts coming back saying not read. So I'm like, oh, I bet they think it's spam and it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's only one of you. So how can we create a marketing machine of people who can champion your cause for you? You know, so. Oh, if anyone's got any ideas, I'm, I'm open. Obviously, um, there's over 9,000 centres in Australia uh, mm -hmm. that have children in the nappy change age roughly mm -hmm. and um yeah i do not have the resources to ring up every single uh child care center so yeah. i do have my good old marketing plan down pat and um been working through that gradually as well but um yeah if um people can if they're interested and like you said parents if they want to sort of lobby it at that child care center that'd be great um, yeah. Just to know that it's not it's not fake. This is a real thing. Um, and the and the thing is that I am not a huge big company. I'm not Huggies. I'm not Gaia or anyone like that. So mm. I'm not this really well known company. So people uh, don't really take you seriously when you're really small as well. Um, so for me to bring out this product that essentially increases genital hygiene in childcare centres as well as reducing waste as well as reducing the amount of cost that childcare centres have um, mm. just for a, a single person, little business. It's actually quite a big deal. And um, mm. and if we can support small businesses like this, then people like myself mm. can hire more people and increase the job industry and all that kind of stuff. It all has ripple effect. It really does. And I just, I think, I think what you're doing is amazing. And I know your products are quality products. I've used them myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I have to send you some um, more Phoenix sleeve, though. <laughs> no, yes, please. <laughs> you can't drop them off in the litter box now, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so please do support C and support. I'm gonna and no and Anish. Anish. Do you want me? Oh, oh, do you want me to tell the story? Do you want me to tell the story about Anish? Oh, please tell the story about Anish. I okay. love it. I remember. A lot, a lot of people be like. <laughs> It says a noise, right? On my my business name is a noise. You can see it in the background there. Um, it's essentially my name, Siona, backwards. But I actually had a look online to see if there were any other places in Australia called uh, a noise or a niche wellness. And as I was having a look, um, a, a noise came up and it said, "How do you pronounce a noise?" And I thought, "Oh, what's this?" And I clicked on it, and it says it's a niche. And it turns out that the word Anish is Gaelic for the word now. So I thought, oh, wow, that's really cool. So I've got a, a double meaning to the name. So it looks like a noise, which is my name, Siona, backwards. But it's also pronounced Anish in Gaelic for now. I love it. I love it. So take action now. Solid story. 
<laughs> Which you've been taking action, and and uh, and I guess this uh, broadcast is in a way a a message to everybody who has children in childcare centres. If you know of, oh, you've what have you got there? She's like, show us. <laughs> is this your? Is that your information pack? Because what I can do is. Send, there we go. She has got it there. Now is that? Oh, yeah. oh my God! You look like that. <laughs> you should be a game show hostess. <laughs> <laughs> That's my DC. What else I got ready to bring up? No. <laughs> um, I was just saying that synchronicity in real life. It really is. I love this story. And this is what I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> By the magic of television. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so they're, they're sold, it's sold in bulk and we've got yep. Stephen here from the UK. So, oh, wow. the, Hi. Yeah. so we're international. Hi, Stevie. Our nice awesome. Stevie pops in and, uh, and she hangs out with Roz and Leanne and some of our other show hosts on MyTimeTV.live. But thank you for swinging by. And Stevie, if you know of any childcare centres in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, even in. you know what I was. I have heard that overseas in the UK and America, they would love to get something like that over there as well. But to be honest, I've got no idea how to take something like this overseas. But there mm. is um, a market over there as well, apparently. Oh, there would be. Yeah. There absolutely, yeah. would be. And that was yeah. one of the questions I was going to ask about. You know, where expansion, but you know, I think once it's once it's rolling in Australia, and you've got, like you said, you've got a mass produce you're providing jobs you're providing you're adding yeah. to the economy and and it's, yeah. it, there's only good things that would happen then the next yeah. natural progression would be um off to off to other cu countries as well so oh look yeah. here we go she said you're all brilliant hugs to you steve uh, i love seeing your name pop up that's awesome no child can be <laughs> she's a bookworm <laughs> and what's, what's that? Oh, Roz is asking Stevie if she got insomnia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So from I'm gonna have a piece of that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I always want right? something for something. That's yeah, that's yeah. really awesome. So what I'm going to do now is we'll wind it up, but I think it's been amazing talking to you, see, and yeah, um, thanks for having me. And and I'll I'll put some links up here in the, uh, the the body of the post, and we can also get you to pop back and drop a link to your website and yes, your yes. pages. So your page is it Anish? I said it. Well <laughs> I, actually, I actually wrote it down with a capital I. I, just, I, <laughs> Sorry. I had some help, so. Uh, so, do you have a page for Anish, or do you have? Is it um, do you have uh, Boho and Garden Gypsy as separate it's pages? My, yeah, it's my Garden oh, Gypsy yeah. website. So, www.gardengypsy.com, and everything's on there. You'll see at the top of the um, in the toolbar, it'll have different drop down lists and stuff, and you can find it all in there. And I've only one. recently gone from Garden Gypsy. Oh, the herbal tea sounds. <laughs> yeah, I've only mm. recently gone from Garden Gypsy to a niche, so everything's still under the Garden Gypsy banner at the moment. There we go. So I've just popped that there. Just go to gardengypsy.com and you'll That's be able to find everything you thank need. You. Thank there. you. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us and thank you for people who are here live and also if you're joining us for the replay appreciate you and appreciate any of the help there we go there's the what Sean that's right <laughs> <Pray> us out <laughs> i've got to unlock i'm not going to unlock it but uh, yeah it's a little it's a really easy little um trigger spray as well it's not one of those stupid finger spray ones it's a proper trigger spray so you're not going to be fumbling around while you're trying to use it you have totally thought of everything yeah i'm a parent as well i know what it's like <laughs> 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 Thanks so much, Steve. You have all the best with it. And if we can help you any more, please do let us know, okay? Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that. It's been great. Anyways, thank you. Oh, hey, oh, that's oh, right. Oh, We've done the offers. We've done the offers. Oh, go on. <laughs> Just quickly, sorry. 
because oh. we do have a few people from here. Okay, so I've got 15% off to childcare centres who see this and mention this uh, little webcast. Yeah. Is it webcast? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Um, uh, and yeah. Free, yeah. Yeah, free samples of any product to anyone who comes into my store over their whole range if they see this. And also, uh, I'll give out a free product to anyone who refers us to a childcare centre who purchases from us. Wow! And any from cool. any of our range, and we've got we've got like thirty items in our whole range. So you can that's that's a big selection of things we've got for people. I can't believe we almost got the free stuff. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah. I've got you. I think you've already written that down for me, and I'll write that up and put that yeah. in the body of the post as well. But thank you so much. And all the best to keep in touch because, I, you know, I'd love to know. I think this is such too good to not share. So thank you. Thank there. you. All right. Take care. See ya. Bye, everybody. Bye.